are gonna make concrete orbs, all right? And what we need to start with is you're gonna need concrete. And I just use the Rapid Set Cement Doll. Got that at Home Depot. Okay, and then you're gonna need your orb. And I picked this up at like our ReStore. You know, shockingly, these aren't easy to come by. So if you see some, start picking them up. I mean, it took me a while to get two. I, every time I would stop by a ReStore or Goodwill or something, I would look for one. Um, you need a bucket of water and I'll give you the measurements but you need some WD-40 or cooking spray to coat the inside of your orb. Um, okay, so I am not a professional cement mixer, so I'm just using kitchen tools. This is just my <laughs> measuring cup um, and a mixing spoon. I have a bucket. If you have like a trough or something lower, that would be great, but I don't. And if you have one of those attachments that go on your drill that mixes, that would be great too, but I don't. So we work with what we have. This is a, just a box with just um, packing material to hold the orb while it's drying, while the concrete's drying. All right, so let's get busy. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start mixing out our concrete. Um, I'm gonna hold a stool, because this is gonna take a little while. All right, you have a good podcast, now's a good time to put it on. I'm gonna just start, let's start with about half of it. All right, so that's eight cups. Put in, this is about four cups of water. I'm just gonna start with this now. And just start stirring. You know, my bucket has those little bumps in there, which is not the best, but you work with what you have, right? Makeshift. It's easier to just mix smaller quantities, like get it mixed first before you start adding more concrete and make the powder. More concrete. So I'm going to do about four more cups now. And that'll put me up to about 12 cups of concrete. Uh, 12, yeah, the powder concrete and four cups of water. Whoops. I mix this I just used a regular like Home Depot bucket and um, it was deep which is why I thought I would use this more shallow bucket but I had not considered those bumps in it and I think the deep would be better than having to do with these little bumps. All right so that's 13, 14,
shy of a cup. I think it's going to do it. I'm looking for like a nice pudding consistency. I think I am just about there. Okay, now this, the whole rapid set thing, it sets up really quickly. So, what you're gonna do now is quickly um, get your orb. You didn't use the rest of the water. And spray the inside of it with WD-40 or your Pam or whatever. All right. And this will leave a little bit of a mark on it at first, but with outdoor exposure, it'll go away. All right. Just want to coat that. Make sure it's all coated. So that your concrete doesn't stick. All right. And now it's as simple as putting the concrete in the orb. I chose this book because I'm like, oh, I can pour it better. So we'll see how that works. things were a pain at first, but the pouring aspect was nice. All right, we are just going to let this sit for, I'm going to just wait till tomorrow. And that'll be about, well, what time? It's about two now. Tomorrow morning, I'll just tap it open. I'll, I'll be back to show you that process. Okay, it's been 24 hours since we poured our concrete and I've got my concrete filled light globe. And important thing right now, put on gloves. All right, wear protective eye gear and all you need now is a hammer. a sheet of uh, just um, what is this canvas to grab all the pieces of glass. Um, the first time I did this I did it inside the box so they didn't fly but I wanted you to be able to see it. some moss on it and I'll be back to show you that. <laughs> 